Throughout this chapter, you've seen a number of apps integrated with Teams. For example, you've seen that Power BI can be integrated in a channel to have easy one-click access over to an important dashboard that my team uses. And from there, it's completely interactive. You've also seen Planner. Planner inside of Teams is currently called Tasks by Planner and To-Do, but will soon just be called Tasks. But it incorporates Planner, of course, at the channel level, and we'll see here in a moment, there's an app that you can add to your left-hand navigation that incorporates your personal to-do as well in that same app. All right, you've seen SharePoint integration because every files tab of every channel is SharePoint, right? And our reminder is that it says open in SharePoint on those tabs. As you begin to use Teams more, just keep in mind that you have a lot of options, right? You may start with just one channel, the general channel, and have all of your conversations there, but eventually that's going to be outgrown, right? You're going to have specific topics you want to focus on. You're going to have files that need to be organized and not all just thrown together. And so you start expanding. And as you expand, those topics are going to have specific needs where you might realize, oh, we could really benefit from one-click access to that portal that we use outside of Teams, right? An HR portal, an IT ticketing system, maybe it's a blog or a resource you use a lot as a team, or your learning portal. Uh, anything that you need to embed for easy access. It could be a list of items that you and your team focus on. So perhaps you have a product list or a client list or something that you want to integrate uh, with your specific uh, group that you're working with, such as this product list I'm integrating right now. And for those of you that don't know, the list app that I just added in this tab is SharePoint as well. All right, so we're kind of using SharePoint again, just specifically list this time. All right, we could add additional document libraries. So if the one folder that it gives you on the files tab to the specific channel isn't enough, you can always add another document library. So specifically, if you added like another policies and procedures library or something to your site, you might want to have one click access to that, a form that people could fill out, you know, whatever the case may be, it's truly endless. There's a ton of apps you could add there. Now, in addition to adding apps at the top of a channel, remember that you can also use apps inside of chats and channel conversations. So if I were to go to my post feed here for this channel and click on new conversation, remember there's the ellipsis down below where I could find any number of apps to use in this specific channel, where maybe I wanna use forms. So I choose forms, I click add, and then I have my new icon, so I'm going to click on that forms icon. I'm going to ask a very important question, like what is your favorite color? And then we'll choose blue, red, green, and yellow. All right, and I'll save that and send that. All right, so now in addition to everybody being able to vote in that poll, they can also see the results as they're pulling in. So I just integrated Microsoft Forms with my channel as well, just through a simple conversation post. So same thing works in chat, same exact concept where you can look at the more apps, find anything you want to use in the specific chat or channel conversation, uh, and then use that right in line. Now the other way to integrate apps is going to be on the left-hand side where you can use the ellipsis there on your left-hand navigation rail to add apps. And once again, if you don't find what you're looking for here, you can search for it or add more apps. But a few, a few that are pretty cool and ones that I use quite a bit are Tasks by Planner and To-Do, Approvals, and Shifts. So, and those of you who are using Power Platform, be sure to check out the Power uh, Platform apps as well. But let's start with Tasks by Planner and To-Do. And because I use this a lot, I'm gonna right-click that and pin it there so it's always there. I don't want to use an ellipsis every time. So from here, I can see any shared plans, such as the product launch event that I have for sales and marketing, any hidden teams that might have plans, like the market project plan here. And it's a lot easier, as you can imagine, to go from one plan to another using the Tasks app, as opposed to having to go into each of those channels and look for the specific tab to that plan. So if you're just working on a bunch of different plans and task lists, be sure to go and get that Tasks app pinned to the left-hand side and then just jump from one to the next really easily. And remember I said the Tasks by Planner and To-Do app integrates your To-Do. So any tasks that you're creating for yourself inside of uh, Outlook or To-Do, uh, you're gonna find here as well. 
Okay, anything that's planned is going to be planners and your task combined here. So notice I've seen, I see some team names with channel names or just tasks all put together as long as they have a due date. Anything marked important, anything assigned to me, which is just planner. Uh, but it's all, it's really nice to just have all your tasks in one spot. Now, in addition to tasks, I sometimes like to use shifts if I have anything that people need to sign up for. Uh, it could be like working a front desk shift or volunteering at an event. Um, or maybe it truly is shift work where people work specific shifts and uh, they need to swap and request time off and that kind of thing. So we'll go ahead and create a design team shift schedule and I'll confirm my time zone there. All right, and we'll skip the tour here, but basically I can add additional rows here for people. So I could have a, a full schedule and it's week by week. People can clock in, they can request time off, they can request swaps all kinds of things, but it's a really great way just to schedule any kind of shift work. All right, and again, if I'm gonna use that a lot, I'm probably gonna pin it there. And if you do have multiple shift schedules, maybe you have multiple teams using it, you'll find those by using the hamburger icon next to design. All right, and I'll just show you one more here. And of course you can always come out here and explore for yourself and see what's available. But one I really like is insights. So if you click on the ellipsis and search for insights, that's gonna give you um, some data about how you work and how you spend your time. And it helps you protect focus time, uh, see who you're connected with, uh, take a moment to reflect on how you're feeling at that moment and track that over time, uh, do a quick meditation. Um, and you can also get some cool features in there where you can schedule ahead or start a virtual commute. So if you start the virtual commute, it's just gonna help you kind of reflect on your day, wrap up any loose ends and prepare for the next day. All right, so that's how you add apps to Teams. You can do it from channels, you can do it from chat or channel conversation posts, and you can use your left hand navigation rail.